everybody I'm gonna be walking you through an oil change on an Arctic Cat 300 this one is a 2000 model before you get started make sure you have a couple quarts of oil on hand and that it is motorcycle or ATV oil this does have a wet clutch in it that's important oil filter something to catch your oil in Okay, the first thing we're going to do is remove our 17 millimeter drain plug. And to ensure that you get all the old oil out, you want to remove this 14 millimeter drain plug it's located underneath the, the rear end. And this will flush out any oil that's remaining in the lower line area. Okay, with the oil drained out, I'm going to be removing these three eight millimeter uh, bolts here to check the oil screen that's located underneath this. Okay, I've got you another angle here. This is looking straight up into it and a Phillips screwdriver. There's two screws that hold it on. Okay, here's a picture with the cover and the strainer. Uh, you wanna pay attention to this O-ring in here. That needs cleaned off before you reinstall. And also the strainer on this one, you can tell that it's been a while since this has been cleaned. Uh, this four wheeler is set for an extended period of time. Okay, now we have our cover and the strainer cleaned up. And we'll be reinstalling in reverse of how we took them apart. And then we'll move on to the oil filter. Next we'll be changing the oil filter. It's located behind this cover. It's held on by these three 10 millimeter you can see when you pull this off, there's a spring located inside the cover. New oil filter you can see on this side and this side. This side will go in. With the oil filter back in, we're going to be reinstalling oil back here. It's on the rear end. Of course, your rear end and your motor both run on this. And once you get three quarts of oil back in, you can come over here by the oil filter. And there's a viewing glass here, and you can check the level between these two marks.